All right, Marcus, this is the second workout of the four workout cycle as presented in Heavy Duty 2, Mind and Body, which we know is the best book ever written in the history of this sport. I agree. But that's not the issue here. The issue here is it's a second workout in which you're going to do the legs. We're going to do a superset, and remember, one more time, I'm going to reiterate it, Whenever you're doing a superset, which means starting with an isolation exercise such as the leg extension, which isolates and only works the quads, we start with the second exercise, which is a compound exercise, again, one that involves many muscles. We have to start with the second exercise so that when he goes from the first exercise to the second, he doesn't say, oh gee, I failed to warm up my glutes, my hamstrings. That's already taken care of and the weight is set. He can do a true superset, which means going from the isolation movement to the compound in as little time as possible. So let's start with your first warm up set here. Make sure your seating is arranged so that you get a good stretch on the hamstring. Your elbows, your I'm sorry, your knees should almost be up to your nostrils. You, you can get it in closer than that. Grab the handle on the right hand side. And let's pull the seat in closer. Yes. You want pull, remember exercise is about movement. I said it twice before. The greater the range of the movement, the greater the exercise, the more muscle fibers are activated. Now don't grab here too hard. Your blood system is a closed hydraulic system. If you shut off any part of it, your blood pressure goes through the roof and you risk having medical problems. So you just kind of just hang on to that lightly to stabilize yourself. If you want, you can start first rep with your hands here, kind of like a bench press to assist, overcome inertia. All right, now you take your hands off and just kind of let them lightly dangle or grab them, just grab them ever so slightly. Knock out. Your head back. Head back. That's perfect. Raise right, head back. Back is straight. Are you getting a full range exercise or can you go back further? You can go back further. Alright, then let's pull the seat up. All these, all these issues I'm bringing up are crucially important. It's the reason for doing the tape. There is a right way to work out. If you're reading the muscle magazines avidly, especially if you've been doing so for some years, you're probably confused because of all the contradictory misinformation presented in those magazines, if you will. Then go right back. Never stop in the extended position. You go boom right out. Only stop in the contracted position where there's Take it back as far as you can. Push the stack. Push the stack. All right. I think that's enough light warm up. Marcus has, as you can see, tremendous legs. They're very strong. Let's have to do a second warm up getting his legs ready for that very intense set that will follow the leg extension. Again, the isolation exercise that will free exhaust the quads. And then he goes here. Now don't grab tight. Remember, your circulatory system is a closed hydraulic system. Whenever you close off any part of it, the pressure in the system skyrockets, and you could blow an aneurysm, who knows? Never stop in the back, only in the contracted position. Very good. I see what you did last year. Put the whole stack on one. Yes, I can. Let's do a little bit lesser than the whole stack and see how well you handle that first. As a trainer, safety is my paramount concern. I'm not you hoisting heavy weights recklessly, carelessly, mindlessly, illogically, irrationally, or anything else. Hands on knees to get it started. Takes the pressure off the lower back. 
That's going to be too much, Mike. No. I want you to do an even slightly slower cadence or tempo on the legs because of the great range of motion. I like you to lift it for five seconds, even six, hold it for three to four, and lower five or six. The legs have evolved over the eons to be able to tolerate a lot of work. Put that seat down. You want to put a strap on? Yeah. All right, Marcus. You're looking better every year. Let's make this year your oh yeah, your best ever. Super Body 2001. It's gonna be your stellar year. You're gonna shoot up among the stars with the top champion. Stretch up as you're coming up. All right, Marcus. Let's go. It's a short workout, you know it, there's no reason to hold back. So is that. Is that too heavy to get 8 to 15? Yeah. Okay. That's okay, we can always stop, reduce the weight. It has been observed, shown empirically, that needs to observation, that the legs respond better with higher reps. I've seen it with all of my clients and I personally experienced it when I was training for competition. Very good. Don't sacrifice form for weight. Very good. See how slow he's doing it? Come up. 1,001. 1,002. 1,003. 1,004. Oh, four and a half seconds. That's pretty good. But I'd like you to hold it slightly longer in the contraction position. Please hard. It's too heavy, Mike. It's so heavy. heavy. Okay. You want to pull your toes back harder than the contraction. So Alright, sure. Just so make sure. Very good. Hold it. Three seconds. Now down. You've got six days to rest up. That's quite a bit, although not necessarily adequate. We don't know that. That's why we keep a, a progress chart. If you're not getting stronger every workout, we may have to reduce your training frequency from once every six days to once every seven, eight, nine, or even ten, as we have some clients doing. 